This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome to Farm Factor. Up first today, Kyle Bauer and Doug Ensley talk about the best management practices when weaning calves. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer. I have the opportunity to visit with Dr. Doug Ensley with Beringer Ingelheim. Um, Dr. Across the country, there's almost always someone that's weaning calves and preparing calves to sell. And you have some best management practices that really help hold that value of those cattle. Yes, Kyle. What I would tell people is when we think about preventative health is we want to get that calf ready for the next stage in its life. <clears throat> so I would really focus on trying to, at a young age, is making sure they're castrated if they're bulls. And because that takes that stress off and instead of doing it when they're an older animal that'll take that stress off I would put vaccines in them I would if we can do them and we're handling that calf at say marketing bra or branding time is vaccinate that first round of vaccines during that time and castrate during that time make sure there's no horns on them at that time and then maybe deworm them and then Ideally, if I have another opportunity to touch that calf again prior to weaning is I would give that second round of vaccine prior to weaning. And if I didn't deworm the first time, I would deworm at that time. <clears throat> and so that when I wean the calf and, and he's got those vaccines in him, so when he's exposed to, the, exposed to the diseases, when they start commingling, when they're stressed, because we know that weaning is the most stressful time in their life, I'm going to, they're ready for that that stress. They've got the immune system that's ready for it. They don't have parasites they are going to affect their intakes at weaning. And then at weaning, I'm going to focus on if, I, if I'm handling or keeping them, I'm going to make sure that they know how to eat out of a bunk because that's probably what they're going to do in their next stage. I'm going to make sure they know how to drink out of waters depending on because maybe in their previous life on the ranch is they're eating out of streams or they're eating out of dugouts or they're eating out of ponds. So I'm going to focus on getting them ready for that, what the next life brings. And you know, you mentioned parasite control, and that's probably an area some people overlook. Oh, I think so. And I think people, they just do it. They don't really focus on what the right way to do things are, is, is focus on the time of the year. We know that the parasites are greatest going to be in the spring, going through the early part of the summer. That's when their big exposure is going to be. We're also not focusing on the right dose, the right application. You know, if the product says give it at the, this certain weight, then you need to figure out how to give that right dose at that right weight. And then if it says under the skin, make sure you use it under the skin. I would think it'd be important that if you're deworming the calves, you do the cows at the same time or not? Yeah, you need to focus there. One of the things that I would always encourage people is to go to their veterinarian and really understand what the parasite impact on the cow herd, because the cows do need to have some deworming control. It's going to, because it will in fact have an impact on their milk production for that calf when it's born. It's going to, ha parasites can have an impact on reproduction because what parasites do is they stop them from eating or reduce their appetite. And we know that in fact, that parasites or reproduction is not something the real cow really wants to do. So I, what I can do to make her improve her nutrition is going to help her get bred. We're visiting with Dr. Doug Ensley. He's with Beringer Ingelheim. Been talking about preparing the calves for sale and weaning. This is Kyle Bauer reporting. Thanks, Kyle. Folks, come back after these messages for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. Watch Ag AM in Kansas online at agamincansas.com. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow.